very frustrating because um, I didn't know I knew how it's going to grow up and I was in a pain through whole match and the, also no, not so, the pain wasn't so sharp as, as I felt so weak in my right arm, couldn't hold my racket to the forehand side so it was very frustrating in the, in the first set I was really down by it and you know really felt like I couldn't do nothing and, and then in a, in a break after the first set you know I thought to myself, you know, you know what, you still can serve and play your back, and so just imagine you you have terrible forehand and you try to put ball in as, as you can and try to look for your back, and, and you know it worked well for for a while, but but I guess it wasn't too hard to figure out what she had to do, and in the third set she started playing much more to my forehand, and it was just so frustrating that I. I I couldn't control the racket in my hand, I couldn't, couldn't feel nothing and, and um, yeah, it was, it was very frustrating. I tried to, 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 to fight as much as I could, I really wanted to win this match, but obviously she is as well a very good player and you know, she figured it out. Well, I spoke to many doctors and they all said that it just takes time for inflammation to, to get out and that's the most frustrating thing because especially I felt you know, so good, I had a great preparation and I feel physically very, very fit and, and that's something that frustrates me that I couldn't, you know, perform as, as pain-free as, as I wanted to and um, now obviously I, I'm a little bit scared too because MRI shows nothing but I still have pain and, you know, they say it's gonna go away but it's there for already 10 days so um, I'm gonna try and, and see the doctor now and, and try to get it out. Will that change? Part of the year, and, and especially Wimbledon and French Open being so close, and um, you would try to peak for a Grand Slam as the biggest tournament of the year, and obviously you put your body through a lot of lot of stress, and, and each match is um, it's very very stressful for a body, and especially the way games is game is developing and players coming stronger and, and the more powerful game, and um, obviously that's something that you have to try and prevent, and that's. You know exactly why I spoke with my coaches, and we had these vacations after after Wimbledon and taking some time off the off the court and trying to to recover. But I guess I was missing game too much, and I was practicing too hard. <laughs> that I was planning to go straight to Beijing, but now I might go back to Europe to to see the doctor. Okay. Really much the, the fact that I'm gonna lose it, just the, the fact that I couldn't um, perform the best I could here without without the pain and then you know if you lose it, hey, you know, the other girl was better, but just the fact that I couldn't perform as well as I wanted, that's even more frustrating. A lot of support from the from the crowd today and you know really even when I was four lap down I really tried to, to fight back and to um, to look for anything you know positive and to get energy from the crowd and to get back into a match and try to you know hang around here for a little bit longer so it was very tough for me to, to, to leave the court it was very emotional after the match but um, you know what that's the that's the game and that's you know tennis and in, in two years I'm gonna come back here and then try to be you know eager to, to win again and you know hopefully I still have the, the good support.